your business needs an after hours communication policy. Otherwise, you may be headed for trouble. Welcome to Bite Sized Brilliance, a weekly series where we look at some of the challenges you face and give you some actionable solutions. My name is Ken Okel. I'm a keynote speaker and I talk to audiences about ways you can improve your performance on the job. I share insider knowledge from my time spent in broadcast news, hurricane relief, and professional ballet. Now, whoa, I know it is an unusual combination, but understand this, in each and every field, I had to perform at a high level every day under pressure. Why do you need an after hours communication policy? Email, phone, text messages. For employers, it has never been easier to immediately connect with your employees at any time of the day. This can be a concern for some employees and it could even become a hiring and a retention issue because people may be concerned about work-life balance. I'm not gonna tell you what your policy should be. That's up to you. Whether it is absolutely no communication after hours to the other side of it, 24 seven, you're on call, we may be reaching out. Whatever the policy is, make sure that people understand it. It is captured somewhere. It is explained to a new hire. Current employees know it. There is no doubt what the policy is. People know what the deal is. They're able to adapt to it. They get very nervous when they don't know or they feel like, gee, I started this job and then all of a sudden I'm getting all these calls after hours and it's really interrupting my family time. That's a problem. You want to make sure people understand the policy. Another really big point here, this needs to be a policy for your entire organization. I know occasionally there is a department where you need to have more communication all the time. That happens sometimes, but in most cases, we need to have one policy for the entire organization. You don't want one department where they're like, oh, you'll never hear from us after 5 p.m. And the other department is like, expect calls, texts, and emails, and we expect you to respond to them. That's another thing that should be in your policy. What is the expectations of response? Some people, they may like to send after hours messages. Do you have to respond to them? That needs to be defined as well. Don't leave this to chance. Don't let it just kind of evolve as it does. Decide on a policy throughout your organization and then communicate it to employees. It will solve a lot of problems. For more about me, go to my website, kenokel.com. While there, you can watch some of my speaking presentations, you can read my articles, and you can listen to my podcast, The Two Minute Takeaway. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe. We've got more coming. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ken Ogle. Take care.